In our series, The Dish, this morning we are digging into some Texas-style barbecue that comes to us via Southeast Asia. Chad Pong, better known these days as the Cambodian cowboy, came to Southern California as a boy to escape the horrors of the brutal Khmer Rouge communist regime. Now, as Carter Evans shows us, he's wowing crowds with some of the best barbecue west of the panhandle with some unique Cambodian flavors. The full pork numpang right there, buddy. They call him the Cambodian cowboy. This is the moment we've all been waiting yeah. for. So what do we got here? Oh, man, we got a whole plate of goodness. Tri-tip right there and our spare ribs. Here is the game changer right here. This is the, the Cambodian smoked pork belly. So you got ginger in there, Chinese spice spices, a little teriyaki sauce, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. That is so good. I could eat that all day long. Absolutely. Chad Pong is setting the barbecue scene on fire <sighs> in Southern California. His unique take on classic Texas barbecue with a Cambodian twist is a huge hit at his pop-up events in Long Beach. You've definitely got the look going on. What's an Asian guy doing with, with some boots and a hat on, like trying to sell barbecue as a gimmick and stuff, but they didn't really understand my story. Pong was just seven years old when he arrived in California in 1980 as a refugee. I remember vividly every, every, every stuff that happened. We had to walk through landmines to sniper fire even sleeping in the jungle just to make it to the Thai-Cambodian border for help. His father was murdered by the feared Khmer Rouge regime and his family left everything behind, except their culinary traditions. Huang fell in love with barbecue after he and his stepfather moved to Texas, where the weekends are spent at the smoker and drinking beers in the yard. Gonna trim the fat. He learned to butcher at a beef processing facility near Amarillo, just bring you back to your days at the yeah. uh, meat packing plant. But family ties eventually brought him back to Long Beach, the biggest Cambodian community outside of the country itself. A job loss during the pandemic turned out to be a blessing in disguise. Huang poured his savings into a rolling smoker and turned his passion into a profession. I know one thing about people in Texas is they love their barbecue yeah. and they take it very seriously. Oh yeah, definitely, man. So when you started adding these Asian spices to it, how were people reacting? Uh, they were kind of skeptical. After all, no one knew what Twaco sausage was, the Cambodian delicacy stuffed with beef, pork, and fermented rice. Try it? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. But after the first bite, it all makes sense. Oh my God. That is so good. It's that little sourness in the middle. Yeah. And that comes from the fermentation of the rice? Yeah. It's now one of his most popular dishes and has earned him a loyal following. It does look amazing. People line up to get his barbecue before he sells out. How far did you drive for this food today? An hour and 20 minutes from my house. Worth it? Yes. The Cambodian cowboy now pops up at Long Beach breweries every week. Got your brisket, your beef ribs. And how is business? Oh man, it's going great. I mean, man, it's like so many, so many people are so, you know, accepted of, of the flavors that I bring and, and they're, they're blown away. That one was good. The flavors meld in the smoker. His brisket with Cambodian pepper cooks for 17 hours. I give 110% wherever I go, no slacking. Once I, I lace my boots and put on my hat and start cutting the meat, so that's that's, that's where it begins, you know. I finally like, found that niche that really makes me happy, that makes a lot of people happy. I couldn't wait for it. <laughs> Puang eventually plans to have a restaurant without wheels, but for now. I'm gonna continue doing my pop-up, just being out there and just, you know, riding to the next one like a cowboy, right? <laughs> a Cambodian cowboy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For CBS Mornings, I'm Carter Evans in Long Beach, California. You ready? Tony, yeah. if I could lick the screen gracefully, I would do that. I like what he said, a whole plate of goodness on there. If we, God. If we, if we hop in the car now, we'll be on the West Coast <laughs> yeah. in 18 hours. Yeah, somebody's going to back him in a restaurant, I, I so. guarantee. That looks great. Thank you, Fantastic. Carter Evans. Thank you.